Capricorn, hi. My name is Anya Briggs. I'm a psychic medium. I'm here with your general energy reading for the week of August 2nd to August 9th, 2019. As I stated, this is a general energy reading. It will not apply to everyone, but it will be open to uh, investigation for people with Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and I include Jupiter. I do not use any divination tools. It's just me, myself, and I and my guides. And without any further ado, let me begin your reading. Uh, if this is of value to you or you feel like it would be of value to someone else, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and certainly if anything resonates with you, please leave a comment down below. I love confirmations. Okay, so the theme for your work uh, related reading today, that came through very strongly. Um, I'm sorry if you're here for re uh, relationship stuff. There's tons of tarot card readers and psychic intuitives online who will give you love general readings, but for some reason I've been getting a lot of work-related stuff. It's just what the energy is. If that resonates with you, great. If you want to hear about work, this is the place because this reading is very work-centric. The title or theme of the week or the energy surrounding this reading, which could be timeless. It doesn't necessarily have to be in this six day period, seven day period, but I'm feeling like the intensification or the concentration of energy around this theme is in the next five to seven uh, days. They're saying business days because Capricorn's all about getting down to business. So the theme today and for the next week or so is your worth is your value. And then the next phrase I received was worth slash work. So obviously your work, your worth is your value is a very similar statement. Worth and value are similar terms. They're synonyms. Um, but the way my guides phrase it is worth is equated with value. But if you don't value something, what is the worth? Okay, so it's kind of a circular statement, but it does make sense if you think about it. And they want you to think about logic this month in particular, that logic will be affecting Capricorn more than emotion and reason will be the thing to appeal to rather than emotion. I'm getting, if you need to get a car loan or a loan of any kind, a business loan in particular, or a car loan is what I'm getting, um, you need to appeal to the lender's logic and sense of logic and reason rather than emotional appeals. Um, you're not normally prone to displays of emotion in the workplace anyway, or when you have to apply for something like this, but they're saying really put your logic suit on and really try to sell it through the prism of logic and reason. Um, any display of emotion beyond a business appropriate is highly uncalled for. So if you're feeling emotionally inappropriate right now, now is not to, the time to appeal or seek, um, seek any kind of comfort in a lender. Uh, that would be a bank, a loan officer, anything of the kind. I'm getting for the vast majority of you, um, this would work if you basically just put on your, you know, Spock outfit and uh, say that you're part, um, I don't know what Spock was. I can't remember what planet he was from. Uh, comment down below, what planet was Spock from? I can't remember. But um, where people just are logic driven and that logic and reason is really what they're made of. Um, money, and I'm getting mathematics counts. So do the math, uh, do the figures on things. Um, if you are um, also working in the loan industry, if you are, uh, I don't know the terminology, people, un an underwriter, if you are an underwriter specifically, I'm getting, this will be a tricky week for you financially. Meaning if you're looking for employment, employers are gonna be distracted with things that take up a lot of uh, mental energy. So now again is not the time to apply for a loan if you're kind of feeling desperate or in dire straits about money, believe it or not. Um, people are not gonna to respond to emotional appeals. That's just what I'm getting. So if you're an unemployed underwriter, say that five times fast, 
Um, you could be met with a lot of resistance this month uh, over um, employment. So you need to consider a plan B of action. Definitely don't sit on your laurels. Definitely stay active. Stay proactive is really the word my guides wish to use. But if you're an underwriter seeking employment, it's gonna to be tough for a month, but it's gonna open up more in October. So if you have emergency funds right now is the time to use them. I, I don't hope you have to use emergency funds right now, but if you do, um, October is gonna be a much better month for you energetically, I'm getting. If you are seeking work, however, uh, excuse me, not work, if you're seeking a loan, you have to appeal to reason. And you have to find value in reason this month. Your worth is your value. So if you don't value this aspect of, if you're working in government, if you don't value reason, now is not the time to try and go into a job where reason and logic um, are you know, heavily emphasized. If you want emotion in a job related field, become an actor because uh, you're not gonna find it this month. There's not gonna be a lot of sympathy for emotional displays with Capricorn for some reason I'm, I'm getting, or people with Capricorn in their chart in heavy places, especially in the um, houses that would have to do, and I'm sorry, I don't know which ones they are, that would have to do with employment or other people's money. I know the eighth house actually has to do with other people's money. So if you have Capricorn in your eighth house, that might apply now too. And if you're thinking about an inheritance or you know, grandma has passed and you're the executor of her estate, go slowly. Do not rush this through because you could lose a lot of money. I'm getting executors of estates could be particularly pained by this non-display of emotion this month. Like things that are heavily tied to family things might be in for a splash of cold water on the face when they realize that maybe there's family members who don't care so much about grandma that you do. Okay, that their relationship to you may not have been what you thought it was. And their true colors may come out. So your worth and value that you attach to the things that belong to a departed loved one may not have the same, you may be shocked to find that they're just really wanting to get rid of stuff and you wanna hold on to it and you're feeling particularly sentimental. I'm sorry this isn't the most like uplifting of readings for Capricorn, but if you slog through this time, particularly this week, but also this month, you will be rewarded because patience has its virtue as well. And Capricorn is nothing if not able to be patient. They can bide their time like no other. And so really now is the time to get your feelers out there if you're looking for work, to network as much as possible. Obviously stay as active as possible in your pursuits. But in terms of um, receiving money, it may be a bittersweet experience. Um, yes, you may receive the money, and I'm getting this is within a month's time. If you have, if this is revolving around a family issue or an inheritance regarding family money or inherited money, um, you may get the money, but it's going to feel like a cold bucket of water dumped on you as well, because the people around you are not going to be as happy to see you as you think your memories of this person may vary from what their experience with this person is and it may bring up some family fights or family things like that and if I can head this off at the past consider yourself relieved because I don't want you to have an unnecessary family fight or create any embitterment amongst family members if you don't have to it's just understand that if this person feels a different way about your mother than you did as an example it's not your fault, and you weren't a party to this, what went down between them behind the scenes. So dynamics between father and child, mother and child are different for each sibling. So if this has to do with a sibling or an aunt who was a sibling to your departed relative, I'm getting feminine energy, it's not really a male. So it'd be like an aunt or a sibling, female or male, who would be affected negatively by the conditions by which the legal stuff is going down after their passing. Um, understand it has nothing to do with you. I mean, yes, you are related to this person in some way, shape, or form, but understand that you are not responsible for their dynamic. You didn't, I'm getting, for the vast majority of you Capricorns, you had nothing to do with this, or it was not, you were not a party to it. So how could you know what you don't know? You can't feign ignorance if you really are ignorant about what happened. It's not your fault. 
But if it is your fault, now would be a good time to take steps to build a bridge. Um, too often, families that have acrimony in it, that have a lot of butting of heads and, you know, Capricorn is the ram. Oh, wait, no, Aries is the ram. Sorry, Capricorn is the goat. But both of them have these, you know, big antlers that are very dangerous. And um, if you butt your antlers up against the wrong person, you could cause some serious damage. So your words count and maybe cultivating a little compassion and empathy for them at this time, even if they don't seem the most, um, if they don't seem the most, what's the word I wish to use? Uh, sympathetic character, okay? They don't seem that sympathetic right now as a person. They aren't being that lovable. They might be a little grumpy. Try to give them space. Be, try not to be confrontational and try to remember the good times. Remember the times you had when they were in your presence that were good. Don't try to remind them, just send that energy their way. They're going to resent any positive association you have with this person who has passed. And they're going to resent the proceedings of how the money is distributed after the fact. And they're just gonna be sulking and bitter. I mean, there there's a lot of triggers that are coming up for these people in your life right now. If in fact a loved one has passed or say there's a divorce going on right now, it could be a similar dynamic where one party has to sit in a law office with another party who doesn't see things the way the other party does. Okay. It could be as, something as not simple, but something as obvious as that. And you just have to depersonalize it as much as possible. Don't take it personally. People are also feeling just very tender right now. Um, the Leo energy is helping, but we just came out of a really heavy time with the Cancer eclipse in July and the um, Mercury retrograde in uh, Cancer, which makes things extra reflective, extra emotional, and extra family-centric. And don't mind my cat. He's being a little bit of a showboater today. <laughs> He wants to sit next to me, so that's that's the little ears that you see and the little head. Okay. Hi. Okay. He wants to make an appearance. There he is. Okay. So, you know, understand that family is family and um, dynamics are what they are, and you probably aren't likely to change them. You aren't going to reinvent the wheel of families overnight, okay? And if you know your family already, you know there's a pretty good chance that this person uh, probably has, you know, is resolving or not resolving in the way that you understand them. Your instinct is probably correct. It's best to just kind of, you know, be there for them if they need you, but try not to uh, change their story or their idea or image of themselves. You can't do it. You won't do it. And don't try to interfere with this dynamic that they had that may have been toxic because they are figuring it out. And this could also um, refer to you if it has to do with past family issues coming up this week, especially if it has to do with inheritance, anything having to do with legal issues surrounding inheritance, property, value, especially if it's family related, but not necessarily. They could be... Eh, yeah, mostly family related, but it's not exclusive to that. But I'm getting very much like biological family or blended family, whatever the legal entanglements are for that situation. They'll be cleared up pretty much or the attitude of this person or persons will change over the next six or seven weeks or so. By the time fall comes around, they'll be more mellow. There will be a mellower approach to all of this and they won't seem so bitter. But just don't try to reinvent the wheel. You can't do it. You won't do it. Just live your life. Do your thing. Your worth is in what you do right now that you bring to the table and just focus on that. Focus on uh, mental health and wellness and try not to take things too personally. Other people are going through some stuff. It's not your fault and you can't do anything about it. So just live your life. Do you live your best life. Do you and you'll be fine. That's about it for this week. I'll see you soon.